Welcome to this segment of The Wealthy Life. With us today is financial advisor Tiffany Woodfield of Raymond James. Tiffany, welcome. Thank you, Sybil. We're going to talk about empowering women. Yes. Love that topic. I understand that you specialize in working with women who are going through transition. What type of transition do you mean? Transition can mean many different things, but when I think of transition, what it means to these women is somebody who's gone through a divorce, maybe become a widow, somebody who's could have changed jobs or just moved for retirement, moved into retirement. Those are all transition stage and there's many more. And they're catalysts for looking at financial situations and it's often a time when people feel confused. Yes. What inspired you? It's interesting, I go back to my grandmother and we used to dread going to my grandmother's house. It used to be, you'd go in and you'd walk in and she would always be unhappy and tired. And it felt like the weight of the world was on her shoulders. I'm exhausted hearing it. Oh, <laughs> it, it was, that's how it felt. And she, it was interesting, she felt trapped because she was in an unhappy marriage and she didn't understand her financial situation. She didn't understand how she could be freed. What a terrible feeling. I never want any woman to feel trapped, whether it's in a bad marriage or a bad job. Why do you think it's important that women do feel empowered? Because so many women that I talk to are afraid. They're afraid to have a better understanding. They're just afraid when somebody says finances, they often just think they're afraid. And that's not a good place to be. I'm sure you have some steps that women can follow to feel a little bit more confident. What would you suggest? There's three steps that I find are the most important. And the first one is clarity. To get clarity on their current situation so that they can plan for the expected and the unexpected. So when you mean clarity, I think of things like understanding your cash flow, what money you have coming in, what money you have going out. Net worth is looking at what assets do you have, where's your money invested, and debt do you have any debt and how much is it? Yes, very true. And the second thing is vision. And this all comes together. If somebody has a vision, where do you want to go? So have a financial plan that enables you to have your vision, whether that be, I want to save up for my grandchildren. I want to do that trip to Italy that I've never been able to do. So all of those things enable you. And the third thing, which is the most important, is to have somebody who's your financial coach, who celebrates your successes, who guides you through those difficult times and makes you feel more comfortable. So things like you know you can maintain your lifestyle in now and into retirement. So it's having a strong accountability partner and that accountability partner or coach, financial advisor will help prevent you from doing the things you shouldn't do and to keep you excited and motivated and on track for doing the things you want to do. Exactly, and we think back to my grandmother in this situation who had that weight on her shoulders. If she had this person, she could have lived a much different life. That's powerful right then and there. So the first step I would encourage for our viewers is get in touch with us. We'll send you a complimentary cash flow snapshot and net worth statement. And taking the time to fill those out is the first step in getting clarity and feeling in control of your finances. Tiffany, thanks for being on the show. Great advice. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it.